Bromide comes to life. Well, kind of like this. Stan Shelton in lane number one. Stan is not exactly a regular on the NHRA Tour because he is a screw blower guy. With screw blowers being allowed now, they made the necessary adjustments to put it under NHRA rules and come out here. He's trying to head to the final round. Lane number two, that is Lyle Barnett. There are a whole lot of people that said turbochargers would no longer be competitive in NHRA. Apparently, they forgot to tell Lyle and the elite team because he's been out here making a whole lot of noise. Well, not making a whole lot of noise because turbochargers are not as loud as blowing cars. So he's been out here quietly being very successful. Making a whole lot of noise quietly. Quietly making a whole lot I don't know something. Steve Jackson in lane number three. Khaled Belushi in lane number four. That is the Bahrain one side of the racetrack. for Sheik Abdul and everybody over there in the kingdom of Bahrain, they love their pro much. By the way, if you have not seen the racetrack that they have built over in Bahrain, go online and check it out. Holy smokes, is it nice. So we got a screw blower. We got a couple of conventional blowers. We got a couple of turbos. Well, the two turbos are on one car, because see, if you run turbos, you run two. You can't just run one turbo. I mean, you could run one turbo if you're Lance Larson and it's like bigger than a truck, but that's a whole story for another day. Pro Modified, love having the Pro Mods here. Thanks to the guys at Fuel Tech and the D-Rack for making it all happen this weekend. Shelton, lane one, qualified eighth. Barnett, lane two, 12th. Stevie Fast, qualified ninth. Khaled Belushi qualified fourth. Two of them are going to the final round, and two of them are not. Belushi into full stage. Steve Jackson is not yet pre-staged. Now Steve bumps in. We got two in. We got three in. Lyle's got to spool up the turbos. He pulls in. And they all get away on the green. Lyle Barnett had an, oh, 11 reaction time. Is that going to be enough to carry the day? It does. 585, 255 miles an hour. I mean, top speed for a turbo car is not exactly a shock, but that's a solid run. 578, 249 miles an hour for Stan Shelton. Hey, open the door and let's let the screw superchargers in. The Culp Lumber team is going to the finals. And both Steve Jackson and Khaled Al Belushi were off the throttle before the finish line in their Bahrain 1 Sh Chevrolets. Hopefully we can get another look at that one since they were in lane 3 and 4. So Stan Shelton, 578, 249. He is here, the first guy to run a screw supercharger, and he's going to run for the trophy. If he wins it, man, that will open the floodgates. 5.784. And Lyle Barnett with the turbos. So the two combinations that everybody figured couldn't win are going to be in the final round. Watch this again on the replay. Okay, that's the burnout, so we got a second before they get there. No worries. We're pushing a couple of them around the top end of the racetrack to get clear. Have not yet fired the next quad, which will be Chris Thorne in lane number one. Tricky Ricky Smith in lane number two. 